In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AlNO33 plus NH4OH. This is aluminum nitrate, and this is ammonium hydroxide. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have three of these nitrate ions here and just one here. So I'll put a three in front of the ammonium nitrate. The nitrates are balanced, but now I have three ammonium ions and only one here. So I'll put a three in front of the ammonium hydroxide. Now I have three hydroxides, but I have three here. Aluminum, aluminum. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we can write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates, compounds with the nitrate ion, are very soluble, and compounds with the ammonium ion. These are always very soluble. When we have something with the hydroxide ion, in general, it's only slightly soluble or insoluble, with the exception of elements in group one like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, and with the exception of ammonium hydroxide. So aluminum hydroxide, when these two substances react, this will be a solid. We have this insoluble compound, falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the complete ionic equation for AlNO3-3 plus NH4OH. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So we can see that we have three nitrates here in the reactants. In the products, we also have three nitrates. So these are spectator ions. We can cross them out. They're on both sides. Reactants, three ammonium ions. Again, in the products, three ammonium ions. These are spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for aluminum nitrate plus ammonium hydroxide. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have Al3+, plus, then we have 3 times 1 minus. That's 3 minus. So those add up to 0. Net charge is 0. Neutral compound over here, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AlNO3-3 plus NH4OH. Thanks for watching.